this video is the transfer day or day of, you know what I'm saying. You'll see it the day of my transfer. What the fertility day? Let's get these babies, ladies. What's up, Fertility Fam? How are you? It is the 29th of March. Oh my goodness, I have a lot to show you. Um, what I've been up to over the last few days. Come on, let's take a look. What's up, Fertility Fam? How are you? I think it's the 25th. I'm gonna say it's the 25th of March. We're gonna go with that. It's Thursday for sure, but that's not why I'm here. What do you see over there? Can you see it? The chairs are out on the tables. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, here we go. Doesn't that look like a place that needs a beverage? <laughs> All right, so that's done. Um, did I do it? No. Did I pay someone to do it? I sure did, and he was super nice. Um, he put that all together for me. Uh, there's some lights and stuff that I want to hang out here. Let's go in because it's super noisy. Um, there's some lights and stuff I want to hang, but we'll get to that. Not today. And he rehung my curtains for me, which was awesome because when I put them up, they were too high. So now they're the right height. And we mounted my TV in my room. It had been sitting on a bookshelf. Uh, and he also pointed out to me that the movers put my bookshelf in upside down. So that's another project for another day. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited. He's gonna come back and help me with my wiring situation. And I wanna put plants in here. And he said his girlfriend has a super green thumb. He showed me some photos and so, I was saying I need some sort of shelves or they have to hang because putting the plants in the window, it gets too cold in the winter time because we're up in the air, we're up in the sky and there's no buildings around us. So it just gets cold, even though the windows are double paned. So yeah, let me just show you. Here's the TV mounted. It was sitting here. Yeah, so that's kind of that. Yeah, I just wanted to hop on and say hi. I'm going to acupuncture tonight, yay. And some of you guys had questions. Um, I think it's Carmella. You asked me if I'm going to be testing. Girl, I already brought, I already bought <laughs> early response test from Amazon and they're here. I don't think I'm gonna take them on holiday though. So we'll see how that plays out. We're leaving next Thursday. It's, it's only gonna be for the weekend because then I realized it's Easter Sunday. I mean, it was only gonna be for the weekend anyway. I originally wanted to come back on Sunday, but Cheyenne made church plans with someone, so we'll come back on Saturday. But I think the plan is not to take any tests while I'm away, and then Sunday, probably not, because it's Easter, right? And then after that, maybe I'll start testing. But anyway, to answer your question, I'm gonna test before the other. I just know that I am. When I'll share those videos, that part I don't know, but I will share them. They will be in a premiere. I just don't know when. So be patient with me because I gotta get through my own emotions and I'm feeling pretty good about um, so far how I'm handling things. And so I just wanna like keep mindful of that, listen to myself and you know, all that good stuff. So, all right, how are you doing? Happy Junior Friday. <laughs> All done. Yes, I'm pantsless. <laughs> Just leaving acupuncture. She reminded me that I need to do more warming. So cinnamon, ginger, all those fun things. Gotta get it together. Good morning, Fertility Fam. It's Friday, the 26th of March. Happy Friday to you. <sighs> I just finished getting my first progesterone shot. I have the heating pad on my bum um, or on my upper, inner, outer, wherever, you know, in the glutes. First dose was half a milliliter. Cheyenne actually administered my dose for me. My official medical person will be here this evening. This was a weird one because today I had to do half a milliliter in the morning and then a milliliter in the evening. So yeah, it went really well. She did a great job. I just want to tell you a little bit about what I did to prep. I use numbing cream, Num 520. It's 5% lidocaine. 
It, I got it for using with Dr. Needle on my face. Anyway, that, and then I put the Tegra Term. I had these left over from my last IVF round, but it's like the film, here's the used one that they use when they do the IV. So we did that and then Cheyenne put a circle around where the cream was so she would know the area that was numb. And then the progesterone and oil I put in um, underneath this heating pad so that it would warm up and it did a good job of that so it was. But it was, I mean it's still thick. I was, I was, I don't know why I was surprised but I was <laughs> that it was that thick. So we did that, I uh, have a lovely Wonder Woman band-aid on. Yeah, I think that was it. So I have the, like I said, the hot water bottle where the injection site was, and then I'm going to massage it a little bit. This was, one of you ladies actually told me about this. What is it called? Magic, Magic Makers, but it's a massage and heating. So when it's red, that's obviously the heat and the, you can massage. You can do your lower back area, hip area, or you can do your shoulders, which I need as well. So. I'm going to put this on, uh -oh, let's see, you turn it off, the, I mean you hit the button and then it takes the heat off and it, you just get a massage and then you turn it completely off. So I'm going to put that on for 15 minutes just to massage the muscle. Again I'm worried about bruising and just making sure that the progesterone and oil is absorbed into the muscle as quickly as possible. So that's what's going on there. We'll do it again this evening, a full milliliter. Um, it'll have to be after I do my waxing. And then one, done. And then we get a full dose, a full milliliter this evening. Steve. Good afternoon. It's the 27th of March. It's Saturday. Um, it's a little after 12, actually. I need to take my meds. Um, <laughs> but I am headed off to... Um, the Ivy Drip Place Neutral Drip. I did get my waxing done yesterday. So underarms and a total Brazilian wax, which before, I don't think I've had a full Brazilian before because I remember being like on all fours and lifting one leg up at a time. And this one, so the front part, I laid on my back and did butterflies with my legs. So my palms of my, no, the palms, the soles of my feet were together. And then to do the back side, I laid flat on my tummy and held my butt cheeks open. So that was interesting. Anyway, it's all done. It was much less painful than the um, laser. And so I'm going to do a hot, a hot salt scrub later tonight um, when I get back from the IV drip. And then I'm going to put on fake tan because... I'm going away and I want to arrive tanned. Um, yeah, so the salt scrub, it's a hot scrub. It's to help uh, prevent ingrown hairs as the hairs come back. And so I just want to, and it exfoliates everything. So um, exfoliation is good before applying the tan. So I'll do my whole um, leg. Yeah, and I'll do my arm. Actually, I'm going to do my whole body. What am I saying? I'm going to do my whole body so that the tan applies evenly but anyway let me get my pill and get out of the door i just wanted to open up the vlog for today how are you doing <laughs> i'm relaxing i've been here listening to meditation music and i have the lights down she's about to change my bag um i think i've done the glutathione and then here she is there's ellie Hi. <laughs> Just recording. Um, your 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 um, journey. Yes. Love it. All right, there we are with the lights on. I'm still getting my IV. I had them mixed up. This is now, we're doing a mini NAD, um, which wasn't on the menu, but talking to Ellie, since this is my last IV, um, we'll do that. Cause she's saying it's usually only recommended to do hydration during pregnancy. And then she said, still talk with the, the OB about it. So yeah, oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm in here. Where's my IV? Oh, it's up there. Next. I think I have one more, the fluids after this, and then the vitamin D intramuscular. So, yeah, that's 
<laughs> oh, and I'm listening to fertility meditation. All right, I just wanted to come on so you could see me in the light. <laughs> Back to relaxing. And then today, the girls and I finally made it to the post office. I picked them up from daycare and we uh, went over to the post office and dropped off all of those out of network claims uh, for Blue Cross, um, sent that over and took them to the park for a little bit. Huh. All right, so how am I doing? I still have my heating pad massager thingy on for my injections. The progesterone is definitely making me tired. Like, I'm sure you can tell my energy is low. Um, I had a little bit of nausea today from the progesterone. All that's well and good. I haven't had any allergic reaction to it, which I'm grateful for. That was my biggest concern is like, I know some people can get a rash from it. But I read like with the massaging that helps it absorb into the muscle and you're less likely to have the reaction. So I'm so glad that I got this massager. I'm super excited for that. What else is happening? Um, do I have any other symptoms from the progesterone? I don't. I don't have sore boobs, although I'm sure you could tell. Well, maybe not, but they're definitely full. Like they're yeah, they're just fuller than they were before. At first I was like, am I getting away? But I got on the scale and it's fine and I took a picture of my face and it's not any bigger, so. My cups just run it over. I am working on this. So the day that you see this will be transfer day, but I'm working on my little board um, for 3.31. It'll say wake, pray, transfer day when I'm done. Hang on one second, I wanna get some notes. I'm back, okay. Crystal, I think it's Valadez, Valadez, um, congratulations, you got a BFP. I'm sorry that you're high risk, but I'm so excited that you got your BFP. I am praying for you and rooting for you, you got this. And then um, Lisa, you're on the TCC journey, you're saving, and hopefully you'll do your IVF next year. Um, please keep us updated on how that's going. Hopefully um, you have some like tips and tricks to help you save a little more, cutting out Starbucks, all that fun stuff. We're rooting for you, Lisa. S. Wiley started your meds. You're also doing donor egg IVF. Welcome to the club. I'm sending you baby dust as well. Mia Dolce. Oh no, lost after second transfer. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, I think you said you were putting your eggs in my basket. I can't remember now. I should have written down the whole note. Amy V, third FET on the 28th of April. So we are praying for you, sending you baby dust. You have about 